Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add images to your SharePoint pages using the yeah, image gallery web part. Uh, it's a great way for you to kind of spice up your uh, SharePoint site, your SharePoint page, and uh, add some color to it, I guess, and even branding. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me edit this page. Uh, it doesn't really matter, or obviously could be any you know SharePoint site that you have in your uh, environment. Let me add a section, and you know what? Let me maybe add a two column section. And uh, the web part you want to use is called image gallery. So if you want to add a single image, um, you just click on this image uh, in a web part and you can add just one image. I have multiple though, all right? So uh, let's choose image gallery web part. Now, uh, there are two options here. When you choose that web part, you can either select images and just kind of upload any images you want. Uh, or you can dynamically display images from a document library. Let me first show you the first option and then I'll show you the second one. So uh, let's go with the, you know, you know, essentially I will allow the, uh, you know, uh, manual selection of images. All right. So, and let's go ahead and add images now. And, you know, you can upload them. You can, um, um, you know, pretty much upload them from your computer. But you know what? Let's just go with some stock images that we have. Uh, let me pick some uh, interesting ones here. All right, I think this is uh, good enough. All right, just a few images that are available, um, just stock images available for free to you as part of SharePoint. So let me pick those and let me republish it. You can see the images displayed uh, over here. All right, now you can actually uh, alter the style, all right? So let me click the pencil icon again for additional settings. There are a few styles, right? I mean, uh, you know, either this brick layout, uh, grid, which is, uh, you know, essentially just a bunch of square boxes, or you can have a, um, you know, carousel, uh, and essentially the users uh, will need to cycle through manually by clicking the arrows, all right? So uh, that's option number one. Uh, now, the other option, the other option is you can actually dynamically uh, display images from a, a document library um, or that you already have on your site. Let me show you. Uh, might not be a bad option if you already have a dedicated library with photos, with images. So on my site, I have a document library that I created. All right, I created a new library called Images. And then here I have those uh, several images in here, all right? And essentially now what you can do is this. You can, um, let me edit the page again. And let me add another image gallery web part. And I'm going to choose dynamically display images from a library, all right? And it's asking me which library uh, you want to choose. Um, and obviously I have a few, but you know, the images are stored here. And if in case if the images um, uh, essentially, in case if I have folders maybe in a library, right, you can check that box so then it would extract images from within subfolders. Uh, but in my case, I don't have any folders, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then uh, you can specify the number of images to display and once again, the style, the layout, all right, just like that. Uh, so you make your changes, click Republish, and now uh, you have. Uh, um, and then the result is that it will pretty much extract the images from that document library. Uh, so what I like about this option, right, uh, maybe as a site owner, you don't have to go and manually add, you know, adjust the page, edit the page and add images. You can just go to the library, maybe refresh the images, delete the ones you don't want anymore. And this image web part will constantly only show you the ones that are within this library. So a pretty cool option. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular episode. Uh, definitely a nice uh, web part, in my opinion, to spice up any SharePoint page. So hopefully you'll learn something new. And as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.